Welcome back to the channel Red Dirt Designs. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can use this masking film I got off of Amazon to transfer your design onto your project so you can cut it out and start airbrushing. This is an image that I just printed off. Let's say you drew this image and you wanted to transfer it onto this. Well, this is how you traditionally usually do this. You'll scribble on the back of the image with the pencil. This graphite here gets on the back. Once you've got it all covered, you can flip this around, place it where you want it on your project, your gas tank. This is just a sign blank to show you. And I'm just going to do it real quick, kind of show you what we do. We're just going to draw. I'm going to do it real quick, not perfect either, just to show you how it works. Okay, and then when you peel that back, now you got your image. Now you'll take your X-Acto knife and you'd cut all this out and then when you airbrush it you'll have a perfect stencil of what you did so that's how you normally do it but I'm going to show you a much faster way and in my opinion a much better way and it's a in my opinion it's a secret because I haven't seen anyone else do this maybe someone else does if you do let me know but uh, I'm going to show you a trick stick around <laughs> Here's some masking film that you can get off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Start off by placing the masking film on top of a regular sheet of printer paper. I'm trying to line up the top, so all I gotta do is cut the other three corners off. I use a pair of scissors for this. You can also use a piece of glass and an X-Acto knife to cut perfectly straight lines. Now that it's on the piece of paper, I can run it through my inkjet printer. I printed off the image on two pieces of paper so I can get the image large enough for what I was wanting to do. Here I'm just taping down all the ends because it's trying to curl up. This is some older frisket film. Now we just cut out the whole image with an X-Acto knife. Careful not to cut too far into the project. I'm going to add some textures in here with my texture stencil.
now that I have most of this stenciled out, I can remove all the masking and I can freehand most of the project from here on. Here I'm placing some of the pieces that I peeled off earlier. I saved them so I can remask off and do the bandana on his head. For the background, I'm going to do the grunge effect. I'll post the video at the end screen where you can click and see how this is done.
I'm going to seal this project with crystal clear enamel. I'm going to come back in here with some of that green color and try to tone down this black. But other than that, this is a finished project. Hope you guys enjoyed, learned something new. Use this frisket technique for your advantage to do these complicated projects where there's a little bit more fine details. Thanks for watching.